Before you start your project, consider very carefully what ladder you will be using. Once you've decided on the ladder you're gonna be using, go ahead and open your pattern files using Adobe Reader. Free to use, free to download and make sure actual size is checked. The first page of any pattern will contain a sizing diagram. This will help you make sure that the proportions are okay and you have measurements in both centimeters and inches. All right. Some of the pattern pieces are too large for one single page. So they will be spread over two, three, four, five, even six pages for the larger items. Go ahead and cut the paper along the dotted line that has the scissor symbol. Find the matching side and join them together. Make sure the scissors match and you see both halves. This is very important. Now you can go ahead and cut all the patterns out of the leather. At this stage you don't really have to cut precisely on the black line, you can leave a little bit off. Some of the pattern pieces will have some very important markings on them. These will help you on a later stage of our build. After you have all the pieces cut out of the paper, you can go ahead and attach them to the leather you're going to be using. For this, I recommend you use regular masking tape you can find at any hardware store. Now it's time to punch every single stitching hole. Be patient, do not rush at this stage because it will determine how straight your stitching will be later. I use 1.5 round millimeter hole puncher. A link to this particular tool and other recommended tools I use on a daily basis in the video description. You're a chisel prong guy, uh, you don't like uh, single punches, that's fine. The pattern will work with these type of tools as well. Just make sure the spacing on your tool is at 6 millimeters. Once you finish punching all 20 holes, okay, maybe it's more than 20, maybe it's 30, I don't know, I, I never count. I never count. You can go ahead and cut the leather. Once more, take your time, be very, very careful when you're cutting the leather because any slip, any wrong cut can ruin your whole piece. Now repeat the same process to punch and cut out every other piece needed for uh, your design.